Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Bitcoin 2024. How's everyone doing? And everyone got their coffee? Wow. So I'm happy to uh, introduce to y'all what uh, we at Hemi have been working on for uh, well over a year. Um, we've got an exciting uh, product that uh, just launched its incentivized test net, and we're going to tell you all about it. So who are we? Who the heck are we up on this stage? Um, I have a, uh, as my gray beard uh, indicates, uh, an old, old school former Bitcoin core developer from 2010 and 2011. I've spent a lot of uh, this conference telling old Satoshi stories to anyone who walks up. And this is uh, co-founder and technical expert at Hemi. And I'm Maxwell Sanchez. I've been in uh, Bitcoin since 2011, 2012, and I've been building consensus protocols for the last decade. So a funny thing happened on the way to building cheaper, faster blockchain networks. I'm sure everyone here is familiar with L2s by now and the way L2 networks promise to scale Ethereum, scale Bitcoin, solve scalability for the entire ecosystem. But while everyone was focused on creating cheaper, faster transactions, we made a lot of compromises. We compromised on a lot of the core values that brought me, Jeff Garzik, a lot of the people in this crowd to the crypto ecosystem in the first place. Decentralization, security, finality. And as we were doing this, we, we kind of lost track of where we were and all these compromises came together and we, we really lost where Bitcoin was trying to get us. One of the things that uh, Satoshi called out in the Bitcoin white paper was centralized dispute mediation. Yeah. And that's one of the things that Bitcoin solves. But, but how did we get right back around to all of these L2s have massive centralization points? Well, answer, we think, if Bitcoin fixes this. Bitcoin is great at all of these things. As presumably all you know, decentralization finality of consensus and security but there's a catch so if bitcoin solves all these problems that's that's great but why are people actually using it why don't we see protocols inheriting bitcoin security well people are trying to do that but there's a lot of compromises with the existing solutions on the market so some of them require bitcoin miners to buy into your protocol to participate and that wouldn't even be the end of the world except by giving them by bringing them into the protocol, you're actually giving them the ability to attack your protocol basically for free while they continue mining Bitcoin normally. And some of the other protocols, they don't need Bitcoin miner buy-in, but the problem is they end up just centralizing the sequencing power, basically selling it to the highest bidder on the network. So it's obviously a censorship risk, and it also doesn't play nice with other consensus protocols. You can't take it and add it to a proof-of-work network or proof-of-stake network, and so it's not very flexible. So how do we solve this? Well, we solved this with something called Proof of Proof, which is a consensus protocol that I've been working on since 2016 to solve this exact problem. In the winter, right here. And the way Proof of, work, proof of Proof works is we introduce a new decentralized form of mining called a Proof of Proof miner, who goes and takes consensus payloads from the Hemi network, publishes them to Bitcoin, collects a reward for doing so, and then the Hemi protocol can use those publications to protect itself against 51% attacks. So with proof of proof, Hemi can inherit Bitcoin's full security in a completely decentralized and permissionless way without any Bitcoin miners participating, without anyone having the ability to attack the network unless they attack Bitcoin itself. And super finality is the end result of that. We have POP proof of proof or POP mining, and that provides Bitcoin security on top of Hemi's L2 consensus. And so you would actually have to 51% attack Bitcoin and Hemi in order to impact the security of what we built here. So why stop there? Bitcoin has been, uh, has seen a ton of energy around on-chain protocols recently, a uh, recent soft fork activation of Taproot, uh, the ordinals, the BRC 20s and, uh, if any of the uh, the old school people in the audience remember 
Omni, Counterparty, Colored Coins, all of those are protocols that are running on the Bitcoin main chain itself, but add to Bitcoin. But just like we talked about on the approaches to inheriting Bitcoin security that exist in the market today, all of the approaches for Bitcoin oper interoperability fall short somewhere too. So some of these, they're fairly secure, but they only give you a limited view of what's actually going on in Bitcoin. You can only see that a transaction exists, but you can't see the whole state of Bitcoin that results from processing that transaction. There's other approaches that give you more insights into what's happening on Bitcoin, but they're going through centralized oracles or some other trusted authority. And to make it worse, a lot of these solutions also require these super expensive cryptographic proofs to be validated in the EVM, which not only makes it impractical, but it's also a pain to implement. So why are we here? What are we presenting? Hemi is the L2 that comes after all the Bitcoin and Ethereum L2s. A Bitcoin L2 is frequently just a EVM unmodified staple gun onto Bitcoin rails. Similarly, you have uh, L2 EVMs that are just a fork of optimism and they don't add anything to consensus. They don't add anything to security and they inherit all of those uh, flaws and centralizations of those other systems as well. Whereas Hemi is uniting the king queen of crypto, Bitcoin and Ethereum working together to uh, produce what I call uh, L2++ or what comes next after L2s. So how do we address Bitcoin interoperability? And more importantly than that, how do we design an interoperability protocol that's going to evolve with Bitcoin? That's going to enable developers to do new cool things in two years and five years and 10 years when we get OpCat or OpCDV or some sort of opcode for verifying ZK proofs. How do we make something that gives developers the ability to build whatever they want without having it be enshrined in the underlying protocol? So that's where the Hemi Virtual Machine or HVM comes in, which is an EVM in which we embedded a full Bitcoin node. And what that means is that smart contracts on the Hemi network can now talk directly to that Bitcoin node. They can communicate directly with Bitcoin. So there's no trusted relayers. There's no central authorities or oracles. There's no expensive cryptographic proofs. It's just your dApp running in an EVM and talking directly to Bitcoin. And it's not just happening in a Bitcoin vacuum either. Since Hemi is a full Ethereum L2 as well, any Bitcoin aware apps you're building on this layer also have access to the entire Ethereum ecosystem and all the assets and liquidity that it provides. And this is fully 100% backwards compatible with existing smart contracts. One of the things that I learned in my free blockchain career, 10 years under Leah Torvalds working on the Linux kernel, is that tooling matters, software matters, and having brand spanking new wet submit tooling, that's not what you want. You want battle-tested auditing, battle-tested audited smart contracts. And for that, again, you need fully backwards compatible EVM. And that's what Hemi provides. Fundamentally, there's really three levels of Bitcoin programmability. Level one, which uh, I've been working with for now 14 years, Bitcoin script. Super secure. Bitcoin sets the gold standard of security, but it's very, very hard to develop advanced systems on with complete self-sovereignty. And so level two, therefore, people have staple gunned an EVM on top. It's not very uh, well integrated, but it gives you EVM smart contracts. Level three is HVM here is a Bitcoin aware EVM where it's added opcodes that directly enable sending Bitcoin transactions from the EVM, receiving Bitcoin payments and transactions from the EVM that allows developers to directly program Bitcoin on the Ethereum virtual machine. And that's what's new in Nava. And speaking of making software easy to use, no matter what full tech you build, it doesn't matter if nobody can actually use it and adopt it. So that's why we built the Hemi Bitcoin Kit or HBK which is a set of smart contracts that run on our network. And they basically abstract away all the complexities of interacting with a low level Bitcoin node inside of an EVM. And they reveal these high level functions that you can call to do whatever you want to do on the Bitcoin side. So for example, this is showing a code sample of how you look up the latest UTXO Bitcoin address. You're just calling the Bitcoin kit, getting, saying what UTXO you want, getting it back and seeing if it's nil. 
You might have heard of Apple's Health Kit or Apple's Web Kit that's expressly designed to make developing for health apps or web apps a lot easier for developers. Hemi Bitcoin Kit enables the same thing for Bitcoin developers. And what are some of the novel use cases? I'm glad you asked. So there's tons of cool stuff you can do if you have a Bitcoin node embedded in your EVM. Uh, but some of the ones I'm most excited about are trustless Bitcoin restaking protocols and truly trustless, not with covenant emulation or anything like that. Uh, being able to build multi-chain DAOs that can manage assets both from Ethereum and Bitcoin together and take votes from people on both chains or stakeholders on both chains. Uh, building, being able to build Bitcoin MED marketplaces. So right now, everyone's hating to get in Bitcoin blocks, paying high fees, trying to front run. What if you could create a marketplace where you could dynamically do more with your fee market and pay for it in USDC or Ethereum uh, and also non-custodial Bitcoin lending markets. So being able to create all kinds of lending primitives around Bitcoin that sits on the Bitcoin main chain, moves around there, uh, never has to be bridged to another network. And also stepping back a bit from HVM and just looking at Hemi from a bigger picture, the fact that everything that happens on Hemi is secured up to Bitcoin means that it's a great place to launch AI applications. Any sort of AI application where you're worried about uh, data verifiability, compute verifiability, data provenance, any of that, the fact that we are tethered to Bitcoin in the security matter makes it so everything on the chain is completely auditable and very easy to verify and trust. And one of those use cases that uses the uh, Hemi Bitcoin kit to uh, enable simple secure transfers are tunnels or what everyone else calls bridges is uh, fundamentally we're connecting again. We're not a Bitcoin L2. We're not an Ethereum L2. We're both and beyond, which means that if you want to tunnel assets from Ethereum through Hemi to Bitcoin or from Bitcoin through Hemi to Ethereum, you can do that. We're supporting both sides equally. That's why we call it fundamentally Hemi, the two hemispheres of crypto, the two king and queen of crypto, Bitcoin and Ethereum. You've got both heavily integrated, simple and secure. And one of the cool things with tunnels is because Hemi sits between Bitcoin and Ethereum, it lets you move assets not only from each network to Hemi where you could do something with it, but from each network through Hemi to the other network. So Hemi can be a portal for the entire Ethereum ecosystem to access securely tunneled Bitcoin assets, whether that be Bitcoin itself, ordinals, BRC20s, runes, whatever. And the uh, proof of proof mining that uh, Max invented, Max described earlier, is uh, also a security mechanism for other chains. Hemi, again, is uh, an L2++, as we call it. Uh, but we can secure other chains. L2s and L3s can use the same security protocol, which again is based in Bitcoin security, Bitcoin proof of mining, to secure any number of chains in a forest or a modular network of chains. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, we'd love for you to join us on this journey. Uh, we have tons of technical docs and a white paper available on the website if you want to learn more about what we're doing or how we're doing it. And we also launched our incentivized test note on Wednesday. So if you'd like to get dirty, get your hands on it, and be one of the first people to see how this new technology works, we would love to see you in Discord. Emmy fundamentally is the fusion of Bitcoin and Ethereum in a simple, secure, straightforward way. Again, visit Hemi.xyz. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much.